hello and welcome to another video today we'll be looking at a strategy you can use to trade uh boom 1000 index on the uh 15 minutes and one minute time frame okay i have um my chart uh dual window okay the upper window is the 15 minutes time frame why the lower window is the one minute time frame okay the uh, way this strategy works is uh, i allow alignment of uh, the moving averages on the two windows i'm talking about the upper window this is my upper window and the lower window if the two uh, windows the moving averages align then i can take my trade okay if the two moving averages align i can take my trade okay so this is my lower uh window this is my upper window how do you get to um divide your window into two uh, into two okay we have some uh, icons like this is the crosshair this is the indicators icon uh this is the symbol icon while this is the window icon you tap on the window icon I'm talking about this particular icon. You tap on it on your MT5 and it is a pop up. Okay, you see charts and then you see new window. You press on the new window. You press on the new window for you to open another window which will open lower, which will open below the main window. Okay, so you are now have two uh, windows. Okay, like I have two windows. I have the uh, first window which is my uh boom 1000 index 15 minutes time frame then i have the second window which is my boom 1000 index one minute time frame okay if i if i want to remove uh the lower time frame i'll unselect the up higher time frame and then press on remove okay but right now i don't want to remove this is just to show you how to create a new window okay uh so if you are able to create a new window and you have two multiple windows like two windows okay you can either have the upper window to be your lower time frame while the up lower window becomes your higher time frame or the upper window becomes your higher time frame where the lower window becomes your lower time frame so the um indicators for this strategy we have fractals we have a uh, four period moving average shift to zero uh method is smoothed apply to close color is green okay we also have um 21 period uh moving average shift to zero uh method is exponential apply to close color is black and then we have um nine period uh, moving average shift is zero method is smooth that apply to close and color is blue so you will repeat uh, these for uh, the lower window all right where you have for period shift is zero smooth that apply to color close color is green you have nine period shift is zero smooth that apply to close color is uh, purple then you have 21 period okay uh, shift is zero method is exponential apply to close color is black so in as much as you have uh, all the settings and the parameters okay loaded as explained then what you would look out for is the alignment of the upper window uh, indicators to the lower window indicators okay right now i have my uh boom 1000 index one minute time frame the uh, moving averages are aligning upward and i have the same thing aligning upward on the higher time frame so on the higher time frame if i have it aligning the moving averages aligning downwards okay like you have it downwards here then i'll wait for when the lower time frame will start to align downwards like this before i place the cell trade okay so this cell trade, this alignment downwards will be applicable for crash index because you look for crash index, uh, you try to spot the spike 
downwards okay why for broom index is to tend to spot the spike or when the alignment is upward okay when the alignment is upward as when you being spot or try to find spike all right when it's aligning upward like we have alignment upward where the moving averages are tilting up okay don't forget for you to trade a crash index with this strategy you look for alignment downwards so that you follow spike so that you don't trade against spike okay alignment downward both windows the um uh, the uh, upper window and the lower window for crash index you allow the alignment to tilt downward alignment of the two windows okay to tilt downward for crash index and for boom index you allow allow the alignment to tilt upwards okay you allow the alignment to tilt upwards before you start to look for spike for boom index so uh it's not really uh, a hard thing like the best particular the best spot to look for spike is around here this particular point is the best spot to look for spike where the uh, mo uh the price closes above uh the green moving average which is our four period smoothed moving average that's the best spot to uh look for your spike by the time price dips below the grid moving average you have your consolidation but if it starts to pop up above the green moving average that's the best particular point to look for uh spike on the charts okay uh for that's for boom index for crash index when uh price starts to go lower okay uh when the moving average start tend to um, tilt lower the best spot to look for spike is when uh price tends to drop below the four uh periods muted like this four period the green um right when price start to drop below the green uh, moving average that's your best time to look for uh spike okay so that's the strategy uh, you can see price has spiked up and has stripped my take profit price spiked up and stripped my take stripped my take profits so that's just the way this strategy works as soon as the uh moving average is tilting upwards on both time frames you can look out for your spikes for boom index and if it is tilting downward uh in both uh, time frames i'm talking about the up higher and the lower time frames you can look for spike downwards for crash index okay so that's that for this strategy you don't forget to uh subscribe to the uh, channel so that you get to see more of our strategies and tr get to learn more of uh the way we trade boom and crash index click the subscribe button to see more videos okay click the like button if you like this particular video click the like button okay you can also click the bell button below the video click the bell button below the video for notification uh, in case we release the next video so that you can be notified okay you can drop your comments drop your comments if you like the video state it below the video okay if you have questions you can state it below the video if you have questions for us to uh, answer you can state it below the video we also have our website uh, uh go to the website to learn more on how to trade boom and crash you can also go to another website of us which is um fxfables.com you can learn how to trade uh boom and crash on these two uh websites so that's that for this video till i come your way next time is bye for now